They leave the battleground only to face the fight of a different kind, finding a job. For many Canadian veterans who retire from the forces, it can be tough landing work in a difficult job market. Now, a new program is offering some help. With me this morning are Blake Goldring, the founder of the Military Employment Transition Program, and Cliff Trollope, who successfully traded his uniform for a suit and tie. Welcome, both of you. Good morning. So let me start with you. 23 years in the armed forces, some very dangerous missions, leading other men, undergraduate degree, postgraduate degree, you get back, and you can't find a job? Yeah, it wasn't as much that you couldn't find one. It was the challenge of making the transition and the challenges that, that come with that. When I did my transition, Blake's program was not in place, so I was doing it on my own. And all of the challenges that I faced and the amount of time I spent doing transition has really now been addressed by Blake's program. So what were some of the problems that you encountered in transition? Well, I think one of the first things is for military people to decide what they want to do and where they fit in. So there's the fit part. And then there's the whole process of how you go about translating your military experience to a resume, preparing for interviews, and those type of things. And then I think the hardest thing is to find those organizations that understand the military where you will be a fit and will give you the opportunity to, to apply your skills in that. In that. And, and Blake's program really addresses those things very, very well. So Blake, tell me about the program and why you started the program. Well, perhaps I can just say firstly, there's an organization called Canada Company. And Canada Company is really a group of business leaders and community leaders have come together to really build that bridge to the, to the military to ensure that our men and women and their families uh, get the proper recognition support and care they deserve so one of the key programs we have you may have heard of is the Canada Company Scholarship Fund which provides post-secondary school education for the children of our fallen to make sure that you know the community bands together and make sure that the kids get an education without having to worry about tuition um, and living expenses while they complete their studies so Another natural program is the um, Military Employment Transition Program, which we've launched. And that, again, you have pro-Canadian forces employers who then uh, offer their positions to uh, military folk who are leaving the forces. What are some of the special unique skills that you think you have that you now bring from the military into your workplace? Well, the obvious ones are our leadership that is just inbred in, in any kind of military service, regardless of the rank that, uh, that a person has. So leadership is an easy transition over. And I think there's also that whole idea of, of mission-focused, results-oriented that is inbred in military people that then they just bring that and the loyalty to the organizations uh, that they work with. But I think uh, one of the other key things is that when people don't fully understand the modern military, uh, they don't understand the amount of analytical thinking and problem solving and communication skills that are part of functioning Canadian forces now that transition very, very easily into, uh, into the business or, or the public sector. You know, one of the things we always hear about is workplace stress, stress in the workplace. <laughs> so you're laughing. Okay, so tell me, tell me about the difference between the stress in the workplace that you now have versus the stress in the workplace that you came from and what you bring to you know your new environment and your coworkers. Well, I, I had to chuckle because uh, with the team that I, that I lead now in my uh, private sector job, I always I always put it into perspective. When we think we're having a hard day, you just have to remind people: no one's going to die today. No one's shooting at you. Nobody's trying to blow us up. Tomorrow will come. We'll just knuckle down, get the work done. It I think is a different perspective of uh, of stress. That's that's probably pretty healthy. It's an incredible partnership, and, and now how many organizations are related to you helping people find jobs in this transition? Well, the list uh, can be seen on canadacompany.ca, which is our website. Uh, we have 40 Canadian companies today, major corporations in all different sectors, and uh, we expect to get up to 300. I mean, that's our goal right now, and uh, this will be a, a nice way for those members of our military, are roughly 5,000 a year that will leave the Canadian Forces and uh, at least provide some uh, the opportunity to enter uh, sort of non-trades type work, you know, and, and it's very exciting. Great work. Thank you both so much for being here. Thank you.